the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, through the Resilient Computing and Cybersecurity Center, RC3, led by Professor Paulo Estevez Verissimo, proposes a strategic RT&D research, training, and development program, seeking the creation of critical mass and expertise in cybersecurity in general, but in particular, by venturing and focusing on an ambitious strategic research program in the area of resilient computing. Okay, so um, when challenged to, to with the possibility of coming here uh, to create a cybersecurity center, uh, it became evident to me that what we should be doing should be, you know, something about resilient computing. The RC3 Center wants to build a team and develop research capacity and activity along four scientific focal points. Resilience of infrastructure and control in CPS IoT systems. And then the other powerful uh, now aspect where you can use resilience is about this, this operational world, what people call the cyber physical world. We were talking about industry and we're talking about certainly of transportation systems and, and vehicles I was talking about, and land, air, space, etc. cetera. Um, so that's, we wanna be there. Internet and cloud infrastructure's resilience. So saying that we will, we will investigate uh, about the resilience of the applications in the internet cloud complex and this is e-government, e-administration, banks, finance, of course, fintech, and and uh, and so you know, and, and social networks, uh, sure, and so that gives a message. We are there. Security and dependability of embedded components and subsystems. And uh, there's an instrumental, you know, thing that I've been talking about, which is the system awareness you have to i mean you have to know which system is supporting your beautiful algorithms and so we said we will be attentive to trust computing so we will be creating new generations of this trusted little things that exist today on our computers we'll be creating new generations of this kind of components that help build you know better biomedical systems, better blockchain systems, better fintech, you know, operational, etc. Data privacy and integrity in highly sensitive sectors. And last but not least, we are also worried about data. And so we're saying, because the systems power, you know, applications and algorithms, but this is what I, I reserved it for last, last but not least, because people focus too much on data, you know, and actually today it's about AI, right? And we say, well, AI is, is there, it's gonna be there much more, but we have to be careful. It doesn't come just like that. AI doesn't live in the air. AI, you know, whatever you do in AI must be system aware, must be infrastructure aware. I'll tell you why, because you may have this most beautiful AI algorithm that is doing some decision for you, for example, you put it in a fragile platform and, you know, I hack it and I go, as we say, in the basement and then I change your reply. So you were about to issue a fantastic, you know, reply about the decision and I change it. So it's very important that we have. So this fourth focal point is yes, about data oriented algorithms where we want to leverage, of course, the advances on machine learning in general in AI to improve things that happen today already in privacy preserving application for biomedical, for genomics, here I go again, etc., or preserve the integrity of, of ledgers of blockchain. The goal is turning KAUST into one of the international poles of resilient computing and cybersecurity. Likewise, the creation of a generation of highly trained technicians and scientists in this area has high potential for promoting at mid-long term industrial impact as well as digital sovereignty of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the cyberspace. If you are a young researcher, if you are, you know, um, a PhD student, 
if you are a postdoc or if you are a more experienced doctor or even if you are a faculty, a young faculty, um, this is exploring something which will be the future. This is what I'm saying. So resilient computing is the craft of the systems that we need for the future. Be them, of course, you know, in, in, uh, in applications that are, are in the internet cloud, et cetera, et cetera. Be them in applications that are more physical in the operational technology. Take the challenge and be part of this new ambitious team. So I, I have little doubt that we'll be successful and that the people embarking on this adventure would just surf the wave, you know? I mean, it's like this, uh, nothing venture, nothing gain, but I'm sure that we'll be successful.